we're finally going to see Red Sudo actually do some, actually fight in the story. Now, when it comes to scaling Red Sudo and predicting what type of fighting style it is, it's easy and it's hard at the same time. Particularly, it's easy to estimate how strong he could be, but the type of fighting style he has is actually a lot harder to pin down. So let's start with the easiest part. How strong is Red Sudo possibly? Well, the first time we see him fight is against the Black Messengers in Kangen Ashra. And look, the Black Messengers were jobbers, right? They they got their asses handed to him and Retsudo came out of that 100% clean. So he knows how to handle himself in battle. But we get a greater sense of how strong Retsudo is in Kangen Omega when Agito thought that he was supposed to be the Fang of Metsudo. This is very important because the Fang of Metsudo is usually the title that is given to the strongest fighter in the Kangen Association, typically, right? Usually when, when you have like the Fang of Metsudo as your nickname, it means you can throw hands, right? It means that you basically have similar hype to like Agito. Now, Agito is basically, at least in portrayal, said to be the strongest fan of Metsudo. So this doesn't mean that Retsudo actually scales to Agito specifically. It just means that he could probably spar with him or is somewhat relevant to Agito to the point where he could actually take his title if he wasn't around. This means that look, Retsudo at the bare minimum, bare minimum is top Tier. He's probably stronger than Ryo, although it'll be hard to say that he's stronger than Rei. I don't think there's enough evidence to suggest this, but Retsudo is fairly powerful in his own right. The problem comes in when it comes to guessing what his fighting style actually is. Because when Agito asked why Retsudo wasn't the Fang of Metsudo, he said Misasa is actually better at hand-to-hand -hand fighting than him. This will be a problem later on in the video, so follow me here. When he fights against the, the Black Messenger, Retsudo in fact, we see the post fight of that, even though the fight was off screen. The person that Retsudo was fighting was using a spear. And when he was defeated, we see a lot of blunt damage done to him. It's not necessarily clear there might be a cut on him, but most of the damages on this dude seems like it was done by some form of blunt force, not like a katana or a knife or anything. It seems like someone just straight up beat his ass, you know, like a man, <laughs> you know, put his put some hands on him and that was Retsudo. However, if, if Retsudo does use hand-to-hand -hand combat, it means that Misasa is stronger than him, which would bring to question why Agito thought Retsudo was stronger than Misasa, right? That, that, that's where the question comes in. So it's more than likely the case that if Retsudo is stronger than Misasa, then he has to not be a typical hand-to-hand -hand fighter. There has to be something extra about Retsudo that made him you know, a candidate for being the fan of Metsudo, but Misasa still being far better suited for being the fan of Metsudo at the same time. And so, let's see what those possible options are. Because the first of which is that Retsudo uses a weapon. Now, what that weapon is, I'm guessing nunchucks. Oof, that would be weird because where would he actually put those things? And then there's knuckle dusters as well. Basically, things with blunt force and not cutting force are usually preferred based on the information we have of Red Sudo right now. So we actually have those options. The other option is that maybe, just maybe, he uses kicking as a martial arts. Now we did have we did have a character that used kicking in uh, as a martial arts in Kangen Ashura. I forgot his name. But one thing that struck me as odd was that when Retsudo beat one of the Black Messenger fighters, his hands were fairly clean despite the amount of damage he had done to him 
and also the fact that like his hands are clean basically right so if he kicks his opponents to me it makes a bit more sense that okay his hands would be relatively fine and it might give him the force you could say to be able to do blunt force attacks but it also could mean that his shoes actually have weapons in them this is where the creative part of this entire thing goes in like i think if you've watched uh what's the name of this movie the one with uh the the spies and there was the shoes that had a blade in them that <laughs> that is what i think red sudo might be on to be if i were to you know guess and really that's about it when it comes to red sudo like yeah sure there are other speculations to be had but if we narrow it down, Red Sudo can really only be, uh, there are so many options when it comes to Red Sudo and the type of martial arts he has, right? He can use a hand-to-hand -hand combat, that, that's not a thing. He could actually learn from his peers in the extermination force. That's, that's not something I'm dismissing. But the, the fact that he isn't the fan of Red Sudo kind of has to, you know, be taken into account when thinking of what type of martial arts he uses and what he might specialize in. So yeah, that is it for the topic. This is a rather short video, to be completely honest, basically predicting what Red Sudo's uh, power is going to be. So yeah, don't forget to like, sub, all that fun stuff. So yeah, take it easy.